Hello everybody, this is Valencia and welcome back to Balloons and Business, where I show you the business of balloon and event decor. So today I'm going to show you how I made this really cute Mickey Mouse balloon column. So if you want to see how I made it, stay tuned. That's the beauty of us. So I'm going to be using this PVC balloon column stand that I got from Amazon. I'll put the link down in the description box. I believe it goes up to five feet and it comes in five pieces, but I'm only gonna be using four pieces for this project. And what you wanna do is you wanna tape the pieces together so that they don't come apart after you put the balloon column together. And you also wanna put your water, sand, or whatever you need into your base before you get started. So I'll be using 12 inch Sempertex red balloons, but I do suggest nine inch. Some nine inch Sempertex black balloons some black 260Q Qualitex balloons, some five inch white Tuftex balloons, a manual balloon pump, a balloon sizer. And I forgot to show you the 12 inch yellow Tuftex balloons as well as the 25 inch Mylar Mickey balloon head. I got it from Party City, but you can get it for much cheaper on Amazon. So I started off by blowing up the yellow balloon first. I blew up to about, I want to say between seven and eight inches. I forgot to bring my balloon sizer up for the seven and eight inch balloons. So I decided to eye it. The key with this is you want to make sure that the balloons are as close to the same size as possible. If not, the column is going to be lopsided. So you see me eyeing it and then tying the balloons into dupes. And also I noticed the yellow balloons came out kind of coney, so if you stretch them out before blowing them up, they'll come out more round in shape. And that's key to making the balloon column look really good. So once I blow up three dupes, which is six balloons, I'm going to twist them together. And it's going to take a bit of maneuvering, but I'm going to lay them flat on the ground and try to lay them down into a layer of six balloons. And it's going to take a little bit of maneuvering to do that. Then I'm going to slide them onto the pole and then lay them down flat again. And don't worry if they uh, come up, uh, they will lay down flat once you start layering the other balloons on there. So I'm blowing up the nine inch black balloons and I'm going to size them down to five inches and I'm going to individually tie them so I don't uh, continuously lose air then I'm going to tie them together in a dupe And again, I'm gonna get three dupes. Then I'm gonna twist those dupes into a cluster. And I'm gonna take my 260Q black balloon. But first I gotta flatten that yellow layer out again. And I can't say this enough, you're going to have to maneuver those balloons. So I'm gonna take the black cluster and I'm gonna lay it on top flat on the yellow um, layer of balloons. So I'm gonna lay it as a nice flat layer and I'm making sure that one black balloon is in between two yellow balloons and I wanna keep that pattern throughout the column to keep it nice and straight. Then I'm gonna tie the 260 balloon on to the black cluster and I would actually suggest you tie the 260 balloon on before you slide the cluster onto the pole. Then I'm gonna take the 260Q balloon and I'm going to go under the yellow balloons on top of the black, under the yellow balloons at the bottom and on top of the black. Then I'm gonna tie that 260Q balloon into itself. And pat those balloons down flat. Now I'm going to get another 260Q balloon and do it again, simply because this is the very first like row I'm doing the first two rows and I want to make sure that they're nice and secure 
So I'm going to uh, do that process over again. I'm going to go underneath the bottom layer, over the top layer, underneath the bottom and over, and then tie the 260 into itself. Then I'm going to do this again. I'm going to make two more layers of these black five inch balloons. And again, you want to maintain that pattern where you have one balloon at the top layer in between two balloons in the layer right below it. And you take that 260Q balloon and you go underneath the layer right below it and go over the top layer under and over and you want to do this to about three or four balloons on um, each layer I say four balloons because that way you can make sure it's nice and flat and secure So I'm going to take my 12 inch red balloons and I'm going to inflate them to, I would say about uh, between six and seven inches. Again, I forgot to bring my larger balloon sizers up. So I'm just eyeing them and then I'm going to tie them into dupes. Then I'm going to take the three dupes and twist them together in clusters like I did the rest of the balloons. And I'm going to layer those on top of the black balloons and tie those in. Oop, that came out <laughs> and and you know it's very easy to just twist those balloons back into each other in fact I was twisting some of the balloons um, as I was layering them onto the column as you can see I was twisting them over to make sure that they were all twisted into each other and again over the top layer and under the layer right beneath it over and under and you want to do it for about at least three or four balloons on each layer so you can make sure it's nice and flat. See, I'm twisting that right there because it uh, wasn't twisted into the cluster. Then I'm going to take some more red balloons and I blew those up in between seven and eight inches. So about the same size as the yellow balloons at the very bottom. Now, as I'm twisting the 260Q around these um, bigger balloons, I'm noticing that it's not going as far. So I'm going to be using a second 260Q to make sure that I get um, most of the balloons tied to each other. Because again, you want to get at least about four balloons per layer um, tied into each other so that it can lay nice and flat. So I'm going to get another 260Q balloon. I, I'm not showing that on the video, but I'm going to get another one and uh, do that and then maneuver it and lay it down flat so I am going to blow up some more red balloons in the same size as the first layer of red balloons so that in between six and seven inches so the very um, middle row of red balloons is going to be bigger than the row on top and on the bottom So the widest point of this balloon column is going to be right there in the middle, that middle row of red balloons. After that, the size is going to decrease from there. Make 
So basically I'm showing you a more sped up version of the process, but I'm going to be layering three more layers of the five inch black balloons onto the column. Now I wanted to put the Mickey balloon head on right now, but as you see that uh, column is still sticking out the pole. So it's not gonna sit right on top of that pole like that. So I'm gonna make a little collar um, out of some red five inch balloons. I'm gonna um, size them down to about four inches and I'm gonna layer that on top so that it's completely covering that pole so that I can tie the Mickey head onto um, the balloon. So it's not gonna like be teetering um, side to side. It's going to be nice and centered on top of those balloons. Okay, so before I put the head on, I'm going to show you how I made the arms. So I'm going to blow up a black 260 Q balloon. I suggest you stretch it out first. And then I'm going to measure how long I want the arm to be. Then once I get it to the length that I want it, I'm gonna tie that balloon up and then I'm gonna twist it to make like a little hand. I mean, it's not much of a hand, but you know, that's gonna be Mickey's hands. And I'm gonna take the other end of that balloon and I'm gonna tie it into one of the balloons on the side. So that arm is a little too low, so I, I just flipped the arm up. So it'll be a little bit higher on the column. And I'm gonna do the same thing with the other 260Q balloon. I'm gonna measure it to make sure the arms are around the same length. Twist the balloon to make like a little hand. And tie it onto that balloon column. I'm just gonna maneuver that up so it'll be positioning in the right spot on the column. So I'm just showing you in more detail what I did, how I twisted that hand. And that's how I did it. Then I'm gonna use those white five inch balloons, size them down, I think that's three inches, to make some little like buttons for his, uh, like he's wearing overalls, cause Mickey Mouse wears overalls. So I'm gonna make little buttons. And I'm gonna use some glue dots to attach those buttons. So finally, I'm gonna take my Mickey head and I am going to blow that sucker up. Make sure you don't over inflate it or it will pop. And I'm gonna take a 260Q balloon and I'm gonna tie it at the base of the balloon twice. And I'm gonna attach it to that very top collar. I'm attaching each end individually. I'm like wrapping them around a couple of the balloons, each end of the 260 uh, Q balloon. And then once I wrap each end around a couple of the balloons on the collar, I'm then gonna tie the two ends together. Okay, so the last thing I'm gonna make is like a little light glove because Mickey wears white gloves. So I sized down a couple balloons, I believe to three inches, and I tied them individually. 
And then I'm going to take the balloons and I'm going to stick them in between like that little gap that I made with the, uh, the hand part, as you saw earlier. And I'm going to tie the balloons together on each end of that gap. And that's going to be the hand. Okay, so here's the finished product to the Mickey Mouse balloon column. So if you enjoyed this video and found it helpful, go ahead on and like this video and please subscribe to this channel and you will get notifications on future videos on balloon decor and the balloon business. So until next time, I'll see you guys later. Bye.